Hello students. So today we are going to solve one of the wonderful problem which came in a CSIR net June 2023 examination. Okay. And the question ID is 705026. Basically this question is from central force motion and solely based on the concept of Kepler's law of planetary motion. Okay. So I already have made diagram here and the question is saying that the minor axis of the elliptical orbit is dividing uh, the minor axis of Earth's elliptical orbit, dividing it into two portion. Okay. And we have to find the time difference between the area swept by the Earth. Means, see, if superficially we see here that we get, okay, if it is dividing it between uh, minor axis, dividing this elliptical orbit, okay, then the time will taken by this area will be equal to time taken by this area. So the time difference will be zero, but no, from the concept of central force problem, central force motion, we know that our center is at one of our foci. Okay. So let's assume that there is a earth, which is rotating around the sun, which is rotating around the sun here. And this is sweeping the area. So basically the area will not be equal in the two portion. It will be some other. Okay. Since our focus is here. So the area swept by the earth will be larger in this portion as compared to this portion. Okay. So basically we have to find the time difference. So for the, for that, we need to first find the area of these two portion. Okay. Area of these two portion. Okay. So basically, uh, the coordinate of this foci is AE comma zero, where E is the eccentricity. Okay. Where E is the eccentricity. So now let's find out the area of this portion first. Okay. This portion. So if we see this portion, basically this is consist of the area of half of the ellipse plus the area of this triangle equilateral triangle. Okay. So if you find the area that is, uh, you can say M S B D M area of M S B D M. If you find this area, it will be half of the area of ellipse and the area of ellipse. We all know that we all know that is pi a B. So half of that will be pi a B by two plus the area of this triangle. So the area of this equilateral triangle is half into base into height. Okay. So what is the base here? Base is this portion that is twice of small b, same minor axis. And what will the height here? Height will be this portion. This is AE. That will be our height. Okay. So what will be the area here? Area will be pi AB by 2 plus half into twice of b into height that is AE. Okay, so what we are getting here, the area we are getting here is pi a b by 2 plus b a e. Let's assume this is our first equation. Okay, now we need to find the area of this portion that is second portion, this portion. So for this, just see, it is very simple. This area, if you have to find if if we have to find the this portion areas, okay, then that will be equal to area of half of the ellipse minus the area of this equilateral triangle. Okay. So the area of you can say M, C, B, and S. Area of M, C, B, and S, and that will be equal to half of the ellipse area that is pi AB by two minus the area of this equilateral triangle that is half of base into height. So base is our simple 2B and height is AE. So the area of this will be pi AB by two minus BAE. And let's suppose this is our second equation. So till here, we have found the area of these two portion. Okay. Now our next task is to find out the time difference. So for that, we need to find the time taken by the earth to sweep that area. Okay. 
So let's suppose the time taken by the earth to sweep this portion of area is T1 and time taken by the earth to sweep this area is T2. So we need to rub this. Okay. So if you are taking that time taken by the earth to sweep this area is T1. So from the second law of Kepler's, that is what is they are saying that the area on circling around the sun, the area the swept by the earth will be equal in equal time. That is dA by dt will be equal to how much? It will be constant. And we have the area of the two portion. So simply what we can do, we can for this portion, we can write that pi AB by 2 plus BAE by T. And what time we have taken? Assume that is T1. So we can use here T1. And that will be equal to how much? That will be equal to constant. Okay. For the second reason, how much it will be? It will be pi AB by 2 minus BAE divided by T2. And this also will be equal to constant. Okay. Let's suppose this is our equation number 3. And this is our equation number 4. Now, both are constant. So, we can equate these two equations. Okay. So, it is from here, it is very trivial. Just equate these two equations. We'll get pi AB by 2 plus BAE divided by T1. And it will be equal to pi AB by 2 minus BAE divided by T2. Okay. From here, we can get the ratio of T1 by T2. So T1 by T2 will be how much? AB, AB will be cancelled from both sides since it is common. It is pi by 2 plus E and divided by pi by 2 minus E. Okay. This is our equation number 5. So basically, this is the ratio of the time. But what they are asking the question, they are asking the time difference, not the ratio. So we need to find the T1 and T2 separately and then take their difference. So for this, we use the concept of reasoning. Okay. We use the concept of reasoning. So the T1 will be how much? T1 will be the numerator divided by numerator plus denominator. So it will be pi by 2 plus e divided by pi by 2 plus e plus pi by 2 minus e. So how much it will be? A t1 will be equal to pi by 2 plus e divided by pi. And similarly, what will the value of t2? t2 will be pi by 2 minus e and divided by pi by 2 plus e plus pi by 2 minus e and the value of t2 will be pi by 2 minus e divided by pi. So now we got our t1 and t2 separately and just take the difference of this we will get our answer. Okay. So t1 is here, t2 is here, we need to take a difference. So t1 difference t2 just take a subtraction pi by 2 plus e divided by pi minus pi by 2 minus e divided by pi and we'll arrive that the delta t will be equal to actually this will be in the bracket so it will be twice of e divided by pi but we know that the time which is came here is not in the days it is in the years okay it is in the years but in the question option is all given in days so we need to convert in the days just multiply with the 365 so and the value of eccentricity is given as 0 0.0167 value of eccentricity is given in question is 0 0.0167 just put all the values here 0 0.0167 divided by 3.14 multiplied by 365 days and when you will solve this fraction, you will get 3.88 days. So 3.88 days and that is 4 days will be the time difference between the 
area served by the earth into two portion okay i hope you got your answer perfectly okay thank you so much